Hey Windows Phone fans, I'm Mark for WP Central. In this video we are playing with Nokia Creative Studio. Update 6.0 just came out last week and we've been spending some time with it. Let's check it out. So this is what you'll see when you open up Nokia Creative Studio. It will show the latest photos from your camera roll, but if you want to see more, click on the photo section here and then you'll have uh, access to your photo albums, um, your camera roll, save pictures, screenshots, and more. I normally do not open Nokia Creative Studio by itself. I usually go to my photos and uh, check out the photos I've taken and if I want to edit something I'll select it from there. So let, let me go ahead and select a photo from here. Uh, let's go ahead with this one. So it needs a little bit of fixing so I'm gonna click on the edit button right there and then open it with Nokia Creative Studio. So let's go ahead and try to fix this image. So before this 6.0 update when you open up Nokia Creative Studio it goes directly into filters. Now you have several options here. You have reframing, filters, enhance, blur. You could also have more options here for blur background, color pop which is not available right now. And uh, so let's go ahead and click reframe. That's one of the, the options available for Nokia Creative Studio. So this will look familiar because it's borrowed from a Nokia camera where you can uh, pinch to zoom to reframe your photo. So the first mistake here is that it's sideways. So just click on the, the twist over here, the arrow right there. And there you go, it looks a little bit better right now. You could also click on this button over here to change the aspect ratio. If you're going to upload this photo to Instagram, then maybe you'd want to uh, crop it into a one by one square aspect ratio. So now that you have properly framed your photo, you maybe want to add some filters. So let's click on the filters button over here. You have a uh, warm copper, retro fade, retro cool, vivid, pure, black and white. So different filters that are available here. Uh, what I don't like is that you can't select um, or change the strengths of the, the filters. I would like a slider somewhere here so that uh, I could maybe just add a little bit of the filter. Um, in this version right now it's all or nothing. You select a filter, that's what you get. You can't make it weaker or stronger. So here's a different photo and if you do not want filters and you need more controls to edit your image, click on the enhance button which is the third button from the bottom. Uh, you have several options here. You have vibrance which is sort of like saturation but uh, not too crazy. Um, so if you want it to pop a little more just slide it over to the right. I like to slide just a little bit. I don't like to go too much which see how weird that looks. So I only like to apply just a little bit. Um, you could also change the shadows which makes the photo look brighter. It just adds more detail to the dark areas of your image. And if you want like your, your image to go brighter uh, in general, you could choose the brightness. You also have clarity which is sort of like contrast. It, it makes your image pop more. Um, and here is the temperature. Uh, this is great if you have the white balance wrong. If the image looks too blue, slide this over to the right that makes it more warm. If the image looks too warm just slide it a little bit to the left to make it look um, cooler. So there are a lot of options here in this enhance mode but if it's too overwhelming for you just click on this magic button here. That's basically the auto enhance button and that will make the adjustments for you to, to make the photo look better. I know a lot of you like to add that blur effect that, that gives you like the DSLR look um, so here's the, the blur button. Uh, you have several options here. You could click on the circular blur. You could move around um, to change the area of sharpness. Uh, you could pinch to zoom to make the area of sharpness bigger or smaller. Uh, you could also change it into the tilt shift mode which is not cir circular. It's more like of a horizontal. Uh, it's probably not the right effect for this kind of photo. But yeah, you could you have that option here and you could change uh, the location of the sharpness and you could also uh, change the size. So let's take a look at a different photo and let me show you another feature called blur background. What this does is give you that uh, DSLR effect that people love. Uh, it will make objects stay sharp while making the background 
blurry. So for this one, just draw on the things that you want to stay sharp. And uh, let me add that. And then draw the background, make the background red by drawing on the outside. And then Creative Studio is going to detect the edges and uh, create that effect for you. Now you can notice that the box is blurry while my hand is staying sharp. If you want to make corrections, you could click on the paintbrush and um, the red, anything with, that is marked red will be blurry and uh, anything that's not in red will stay sharp. So that's a quick look at Nokia Creative Studio 6.0. We like it a lot, but there are a few things missing from the previous version. One example is ColourPop. It's going to say uh, coming soon. It's probably going to be added in uh, 6.1. Another feature that's missing is the red eye removal tool. So if those two tools are important to you, um, you might not want to update yet. All right, that should be it. Is this going to be your main image editing app for Windows Phone? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm Mark for WP Central. Thanks for watching.